Taking the OG SPX80 sniper into free for all. Here's my configuration. We'll get into more of that later. So, first of all, look at that Marauder riser 11% ADS speed increase, or actually decrease to the good. So that's one thing to keep in mind. It's a 2.5 times magnification. So some of you who like to see from one end of the earth to the other won't be liking that. But you got to love that 11% increase in ADS speed with absolutely no downsides. Now the stock, there's another 4%. And you can see the crouch movement and sprint speeds are good. The recoil is affected slightly. But we're not planning on too many second shots, so there you go. Got to pull out a pistol for the knifer. There's always the obligatory knifer. Somebody wants to shank you in the middle of a gunfight. You can see the ADS speed there is spectacular for close-in combat. There comes the knifer again. If he's further away, he's gone. Okay, now for the... For the barrel, ADS speed increases by 5%, and the effective damage ranges go down, but it's still a one-shot kill to the head at any day, at any range, so not really, oh, not really a problem. I just got gacked by the two-horned sitting bull. So I treat the SPX... And here's a controversial ADS speed increase 9%, but I don't like the green light. I don't like the flashlight in free for all. So you eagle eyed folks who looked at my configuration at the beginning noticed I didn't use that laser in free for all. It's a choice. It's a personal decision. There's another quick scope. So I was saying I use the, oh, there's, the two-horn bull man and of course the bolt you got to put on the bolt increases rate of fire and decreases your rechamber time so it's a win-win for the bolt if you're going to get that second shot so i keep saying i use the spx 80 almost the same way i use an smg in free for all i rush i build angles I look, I gack, I get gacked, I buy the farm, I own the farm. There you have it. The only thing I do differently is I don't put on a larger magazine because that kills the ADS speed. And you can see that when you're rushing around, a lot of times you can come beak to beak with people. Oh, whoop, 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 getting hit in the back. So, what? What? He'll be back. Yeah, I think he's trying to use a pistol. That's not going to work out too well for him. So at this point, I'm in second. Just bebopping along. There he is again. I don't know. Maybe that was an SMG. Looking across the map. I got a mosquito. Go out there and draw some blood, maybe. I rarely build verticality. When I'm playing, it's just not something I like to do, but sometimes if I can do it quickly, I do. Maybe that's to my detriment. There's somebody across the map. He's an easy kill. We get the turret, and I'm up by two, so I'm going to put that thing out. Maybe not the best place, but just get it out for a couple reasons. Number one, I may get some kills. Of course, you should always have a trophy system saved up for a turret. But number two, I usually kill somebody that's trying to kill my turret. And the turret's doing work. Continuing to build angles. Ready to aim down sight. Whoop. And that was the mosquito drone. Just bit somebody's arm in the head. I heard somebody up there. There he is. Have time because I'm in a pretty secure location. And there's somebody sitting. Sitting underneath my turret trying to scam people 
So I think I've pretty much got this one won. I ran around for a while, couldn't find anybody. Somebody took my kill there, and I win. There it is. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace.